Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel. This will be a three card spread having a look to see how your special person might be feeling about you Cancer. Now this could be someone you're currently dealing with, this could be someone you were once uh, dating, once married to, just someone who has your romantic attention here Cancer. I do want you to remember though it is a general reading so it's not going to apply to all of you watching unfortunately but I do hope there is something here that could shed some light in your potential romantic situation here so I do want to thank you for all your likes shares subscribes I absolutely absolutely appreciate every single one of them so a big thank you for everyone out there for doing that otherwise let's jump into it cancer and see what comes up around this person let's see how they're feeling about you your situation, your connection. Okay, the Ten of Wands. This is burdensome energy. There's someone here with a heavy heart, okay? A heavy mind, a heavy heart. They're carrying something here. Um, the Ten of Wands, there's a lot of effort or strain or energy. Now, this could be a fire sign feeling these things, an Aries, a Sagittarius, or Leo. You also have the sign of a Gemini who's come in with the Lovers card here. Uh, so it might be a Gemini feeling this way about you. Uh, maybe this fire sign, you also have air energy with swords, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. But the Ten of Wands is seen as burdensome energy. Okay, it's a lot of devotion, a lot of dedication, or someone who's still willing to put in the hard work. I feel there might be someone here, Cancer, who's still determined to make something work with you. Uh, or they're, it's almost like they want to share the load or carry the load, or they still want to press forward. Because even though the ones are heavy and he's tired and exhausted, he still walks, he still carries them. So it's almost like there might be someone here that's still willing to give something one last chance. Uh, maybe they want, you know, one last try. But it could also be someone who might be feeling a bit of pressure from you, Cancer. You might have um, put a little bit of pressure on them in a marriage, in a commitment to communicate, to connect, to be loyal, to be this, to be X, Y, Z. It can be someone who's definitely feeling the pressure or feels like things are one-sided. And I say that because he carries the wands alone. Okay, so there could be someone here who feels like they're doing more of the work than you. They're putting in more effort than you. Um, but this shows a lot about character, okay? This shows a lot about how much this person is committed if they're putting in such hard work. Uh, but there could definitely be someone who's feeling somewhat tired, someone who's at a point where they feel exhausted, someone who's at a point where things are getting too heavy. Um, but I do want to say heavy heart, okay? Uh, the wand can, wands can will passion and sexuality and lust, and it could be that someone feels like they're not getting that from you, or maybe they're craving that from you and they're not getting that uh, as well. The Six of Swords is here, and it really can symbolize moving forward in a situation, pressing forward, um, because the movement of the boat is moving forward in a situation, moving away from turbulent, murky waters to the calm, serene waters that lie ahead in the horizon here. Now, there might be someone here who wants to move forward with you or wants to move um, to the next milestone. But nonetheless, it is progression. It can also be someone who wants to move away from you, Cancer, um, whether this is mentally or emotionally. Now, the swords do rule communication, so there might be someone here who's who might be pulling away a little bit. There could also be someone here, but like I said, it's the opposite way. There could be someone here who wants to move forward, away from the obstacles, away from what happened. They want to establish protection and trust and um, improvement in communication. So you might see that uh, around this person. You might see that sort of behavior, but there could be someone here who wants to move forward. There's... Uh, two out of the three cards are air cards, and uh, air cards is all about needing validation or understanding. Because when when I see the Six of Swords, there's a family, there's a child, what presumably is a woman, and then there's the man, and he 
knows the direction, okay? He doesn't look lost. He looks pretty aware of where he needs to go and why. So there could be someone here who might be wanting some sort of direction from you, Cancer. Uh, there might be someone here who's seeing their vision and knows where they want to be with you, where they want to take you, perhaps where they want to take this connection or take your communication. But it's almost like they have a vision. They have a goal. And what, what's a very good sign is that the Six of Swords is moving towards the Lovers card. And I feel for a lot of you, um, this is a good sign because there's someone who is very much falling in love or becoming very attached or seeing you as a twin flame soulmate or feeling you as a twin flame soulmate energy. So that's very powerful. But the Six of Swords on its own shows to me there could be someone here who wants to improve communication. Okay, um, There's some sort of journey here. So for those dealing with like a long distance relationship or a foreign lover, uh, they might want to move forward in a situation. But again, it could be moving away. There could be someone here who feels like you're moving away, Cancer, that you're distancing yourself, that you're creating those sorts of mental barriers, mental blocks. Things are becoming too heavy. You might have blocked someone. You might have removed them. You might have avoided a certain topic, a certain conversation because you feel like you want to press forward maybe. But there's someone who might be feeling that. And they could be even protective over you. And I say protective because the boat is protection, okay? So there could be someone here who's becoming more possessive or feeling like you're becoming possessive over them as well. The Lovers card is here, which is a beautiful card. It does show a beautiful connection that's being established. Uh, so some of you might be currently involved with a twin flame or have direct or indirect contact with a twin flame soulmate lover around this period. The lover's card does represent the sign of Gemini here and Gemini is all about communication. Okay. Now there could be someone here who feels like communication uh, because Gemini has a need for things to be broken down and explained to them. They have a thirst for knowledge. They need to know things. Um, they're known to be overthinkers. They're quite intellectually inclined. Both Gemini and Virgo are ruled by the planet Mercury, which is the messenger of the gods, uh, god of intellect, uh, messages, and, and things of that nature here. So uh, there could be someone here who wants to validate something or seeks an explanation from you or wants reassurance even. It could definitely be read in this way as well. Okay, they want reassurance from you. Um, maybe they want closure. Maybe they want to communicate. There's someone here who wants to reach out potentially or wants you to reach out to them. Um, what I see with the lover's card, the fact that they're nude and they've got their arms open, I feel someone wants to be vulnerable with you or someone wants to show you their true colors, like literally strip bare and show you their true selves. Maybe there's someone ready to do that, Cancer. Maybe you're not ready for it. Maybe you are, um, but I feel like there's someone here who's feeling extremely hopeful about a commitment with you that feels like you were destined to meet, that the angels, the gods, spirit guides, our law of attraction, a higher power personified here as an angel has brought you to them. Uh, the message uh, here is also the notion of a message, a text message, some sort of communication. If you haven't connected with someone here, Cancer, there could be someone here who wants you to communicate with them or wants to see you again. Um, but it's more like they want to see you face to face. They want to speak with you. But there's something about an explanation here. Okay, someone needs validation or someone needs to understand something that was left uh, either too vague or something that wasn't properly explained or whether it's why why you left, why you ghosted, why they ghosted, uh, why they disappeared, why they disconnected, why they felt they couldn't express themselves. Something about communication is around this person. But it could also be validation that this is, in fact, a twin flame soulmate union. So I always read the cards as that. I love the lovers. It's one of my faves. So the fact that that's come up, there's someone that could definitely be moving towards falling in love with you. And maybe this heaviness isn't so bad. Maybe it's just that you know, you're taking up a lot of space in their heart. You're beginning to mean a lot to them here, Cancer. That could also be what's coming up here in the cards. I will leave your reading at that, though. Thank you again for tuning in, Cancer. I really do appreciate it. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't forget to leave behind a like or a subscribe. Otherwise, we shall be catching up very soon. Thanks again, everyone. Bye for now.